Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to give you part two of my facial flex video. Yes, that's right. About six months ago, I did a video called Lifting Sagging Jowls and I guess this is Lifting Sagging Jowls part two because to lift my sagging jowls, which I do have them at 50 plus, I will tell you that I did have under chin lipo about five years ago, but even after that, I still had jowls and it wasn't until I started using two things that I think my jowls really started firming up. The first is this little facial flex device. And for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll show you how it works. It's kind of ugly when you do it, but you just put it in your mouth like this and set your cell phone timer for two minutes, two minutes, and you go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you go up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, to the side, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, to the other side, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I do that two minutes a day. And I also do use the facial flex, but this video is not about the facial flex. I'll put a few of those videos below if you'd like to see those. But in terms of the facial flex, I really felt like it did a beautiful job of lifting my sagging jowls and also kind of firming up this whole area from about the upper cheeks down to just below my chin line. Even my neck started looking better when I was using the facial flex. Well, what happened is I used it for maybe about four months, maybe four and a half months, and then all of a sudden I looked in the mirror and I realized that I was getting these lip lines like smoker's lip lines, like I had been smoking. And then I realized that because when you do this, you go, ooh, 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 that you're making these little lines all around your lips and that this little device can actually exacerbate those lip lines. And I stopped this for around three or four months. And actually at about the same time, I stopped my facial flex too. And then I realized that my face was really going south. And so number one, I picked up the facial flex and started using that again but I realized that I really needed to think harder on how to use this little guy because I really did like the benefits that the Facial Flex gave me. I just did not like those lip lines. And then I remembered that when I was initially researching the Facial Flex, I saw a handful of YouTubers that use this little guy and basically one of them really stuck out in my mind and I always remembered her because she said that it really helped firm up her face just like it does mine, but that she would use it for two or three months and then she would lay off for a while and then she would start again. And I always thought, if it's so great, why is she laying off? And then as I started to really get into using this, first I realized the benefits and really felt my face was firming up. But then I realized when I looked in the mirror one day after using it for maybe three months, I looked in the rearview mirror and went, oh my gosh, I have smoker's wrinkles and I don't smoke. And I realized that this little gadget, the way I was using it was giving me more lip lines around my lips, especially on my lower lip. And so I immediately stopped using it. I didn't pick it up for another four months until about a month ago when I realized that my face was really going south. I had stopped the new face and I had stopped the facial flex and I started it again and had great results within a month of using it. But I realized two things on the way to use this little guy to not give those lip wrinkles. And if you've used this before and stopped because you got those lip wrinkles, I really think this is a great way to be able to use the facial flex and yet have your lips continue to look good. First, just like that other YouTuber mentioned, what I do now is I use this for maybe a couple of months until I get my face nice and firm and then lay off for a couple of weeks, two, three weeks, maybe up to a month. And then I'll start using it again for maybe another couple of months and then I'll lay off. I don't do it every single day, 365 days of the year, like I did when I started out. I use it sporadically as I feel my face needs it. But then there was another very important way that I changed the way in which I use this. And I'll show you how that works. And it looks kind of ugly. But here you go. You put it in your mouth. And normally you would just do this. But when you use the facial flex in the normal way, you really are pursing your lips over and over for two minutes a day. And you are creating little lip lines. And over time, that's going to etch them more into your lips. Well, what I do is when I am using the facial flex, I don't just use it and walk around and do my business without using a second hand. I have lipstick on, but, but how I do this is as I'm using the facial flex, I put my hand right here and I really try to make sure that the middle part of my lips is not particularly pursing and that I'm getting the muscle action just on the outside here. So I'll show you how that looks. So you put it in and instead of just doing this, you put your hand here 
And when you put your hand over your mouth when you're doing the facial flex, you're really decreasing these lip lines here. You're emphasizing the muscle action on the outside of your lips, and you're also causing those muscles to really get a workout in through here and in your upper neck. So those are the two ways that I use the facial flex to help avoid those lip wrinkles. First, to use it sporadically just as needed, and second, to use the hand technique. Well, that was a look at how I use the facial flex to keep my jowls in place. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in looking your best at every age, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little positive thought for the day. And I've been using these Power Thoughts cards by Louise Hay. Let's go ahead and choose a little power thought for the day. I've been taking out the cards as I use them. So I really uh, don't have a lot of cards left. Ooh, I like this. The point of power is always in the present moment. The point of power is always in the present moment. And it's got a woman on a journey and we're all on a journey here. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in charge. I now take my own power back. I am safe and I am free. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card and it's so true. The point of power is in the present moment. It's not in the past worrying about things that happened there. It's not in the future worrying about things that may happen there because usually our worries don't come to pass. The point of power is truly in this present moment and making the most of this moment we can. Friends, just for today, let's remember that this is an important day in our life's journey and that the point of our power truly is in this present moment. And as we go through our day, let's remember that and let's make every moment the best we can be. Because when we do that, we realize that we're in charge. We take our power back. We are safe and we are free. Take care. See you next time.